Hi, my name is Jeff St. John. I'm Senior Editor of Smart Grid for Green Tech Media. We're here at the Network Grid 2013 with Brad Williams. Brad is the Vice President of Industry Strategy for Oracle Utilities. Brad, utilities have made a pretty significant investment in smart grid technologies over the past several years. What key issues do you see your utility customers facing as these projects begin to go live? Never before have we been so dependent on systems and data to drive the safe and reliable operations of, of, of electric utilities. And with Smart Grid, that dependency grows even deeper. Prior to the Smart Grid, these electromechanical type devices would last uh, you know, many years. Uh, and now we've replaced them with microprocessor based uh, technology and uh, software systems and the data that drives them. Uh, so that, that, that's one of the biggest ones, I believe. Another one is as utilities have implemented millions of devices, uh, meters, uh, smart switch gears, uh, telecommunication devices, there's a new dependency on uh, how, do, how do we manage the life cycle of smart devices uh, because they require a different level of care and feeding and ongoing um, support. You know, it's kind of like your uh, smartphone or your PC requires uh, patches and updates constantly. So how will utilities manage, manage those that are, uh, you know, more remote uh, and making sure they're secure, making sure the batteries are, are, are uh, all, all uh, fresh and all those types of things. What are some of the things that Oracle does to support its utility customers in managing these issues? The strength of Oracle is information management. We have a long history of certainly database, uh, now engineered systems to help support the scalability, availability, reliability of the system. So that kind of gets into that uh, dependency of the systems and the data to drive that safe and reliable performance. Or Oracle takes that uh, very strongly uh, in able to provide those highly available uh, highly scalable systems. I think the other part is we are dealing with a much more complex uh, uh, smart grid network and we need to be able to model um, like this renewable generation. We need to be able to model uh, customer behavior of electric vehicles and things like that in order to optimize the grid. And so we need to have a good model of the grid. We need to have a good model of the customers. That's another strength of Oracle. Oracle being a data company is having systems that will support uh, the integration and the real-time application of, of this data. What are some of the applications that Oracle is enabling for its customers today? So this is one of those, uh, I guess, uh, best-kept secrets to some extent. People don't, don't realize Oracle is so deep into utility-specific applications. If there's an outage, we, w we can give customers an estimated time of restoration um, through a smartphone application or a web portal. Finally, this last one, that, which is a really hot issue right now, is analytics, uh, BI and analytics. Uh, we've got some uh, very good tools around that and, uh, in fact, just uh, acquired uh, DataRaker to help us in some um, uh, cloud, cloud-based uh, services, analytic services. I'm curious if you can describe to me where cloud-based services are taking off first for the utility industry and where you see them providing the greatest value. You know, we're able to stand up some, some quick solutions within a month or two's time frame uh, by getting access to their existing metering data or network data or asset data and, and doing that on, on um, or Oracle uh, infrastructure and then providing those, those results. So I think, I think it's, it's a way of getting to some of the value of analytics very quickly. And, and, and then as a result of that, utilities may, may see, okay, this, this, is, this is a big payback for us. We, we want to now migrate this from the cloud into a utility hosted infrastructure. And so we, we provide that migration path with our technologies as well. So we can stand up a very quick solution to get them some real value and then over time they can start to uh, migrate that onto their own BI analytic, analytics platforms, whether it be Oracle or somebody else's. Well, Brad, thanks again for joining us here at the Network Grid 2013. Glad to be here.